Hello there, welcome to episode 4 of my series on the, the restoration of Chesterfield Canal. So if you've not watched episode 1 to 3, basically it's 46 miles long, Chesterfield Canal from Chesterfield to West Stockwith, um, but there's 9 miles of missing canal in the middle that they're in the process of restoring. So in that last episode, episode 3, we had a walk along Stavely Puddle Bank. Um, which is one of the next sections that's planned for uh, for restoration. So today I'm just having a, a walk down to what's next after the Stabler Puddle Bank and that is going to be the new Dolly Aqueduct. So a couple of weeks ago there was a couple of news stories going around uh, for local news agencies, website, newspapers um, about the proposed plans for the new Dolly Aqueduct. So a quick look at the map for anybody who's not familiar. So we can see the aqueduct in the top right hand corner of this map, just beyond the puddle bank. Rennie Shore, where we're starting our walk today, is out of view off the top of the map. Now I was going to start in Stavely and walk along the puddle bank to get to there, which is, which is probably the quickest, quickest way to access it. Um, but I thought, I've not been to Rennie Shore for must be two months actually since I've been down here so I thought I'd come and just have a look see if they've uh, got any further in um, in clearing anything because I know the last video I did was actually episode one I looked at the rewater in Renishaw project and they've done quite a lot of tree clearance this path's still nice and nice and weed free it's a nice open path to walk down now better than it was um, but I don't think they can do much more vegetation clearance in the actual canal because obviously we've had bird nesting season and whatnot. But anyway, it's only about a mile or so walk from Rennie Shore up to um, the site where the, the canal crosses the River Dowley. Should point out the raincoat's on this morning. Um, I've had a bit of rain where it's just been raining as I started my walk. Um, we've had a bit of rain overnight. Um, I think that's certainly welcomed by the Chesterfield Canal. If you've watched my last video, um, to do with the low canal levels. As always in summer, you see the you see the undergrowth and the vegetation just absolutely turbocharge look at this there's a canal in here somewhere down there there's a lot more vegetation clearance to be done milepost seven so i said it was about a mile didn't i and it's it is a mile because Mile post six is literally yards from this side of the aqueduct. I do like this little section. It's a lovely little walk, especially now they've, they've cleared it a bit, a little bit more. We've got the posts you can see there, typically found at the side of railway lines. And here, this banking you can see on our right hand side, that's the Great Central Railway, or was the Great Central Railway. It's now the Trans Pennine Trail down towards Staveley and Chesterfield. So the canal, I've been through this before, if you've ever seen any of my other videos, but the, the canal on the left and the railway on the right. But now we're at the point now where the canal starts to veer off to the left. It starts to meander along the contours of the valley up towards the aqueduct. So just a reminder, all this that we're walking on to get to the aqueduct today is all part of that restoration plan. Um, and I think, I'm still reading, it's, it's very ambitious and 2027 doesn't really seem that far away, does it? Five years isn't really a lot of time. If you think back five years ago, what were you doing in 2017? It doesn't seem that long ago to me. That's a bit of a milestone for the canal's history, 2027. 250 years since the canal was built, opened in 1777. So there's our mile six uh, mile post. 
And that's a Norbury cutting going off in that, that direction there. A disused arm of the Chesterfield Canal. So that means we're on the approach to the aqueduct now. To be honest, I've, uh, I've walked all this way and brought you down. Well, there's not really a lot to see at the site of the aqueduct at the minute. As per the rest of the route, it's very overgrown. But we're stood on a bank in the River Dolees down there. Um, so the, the, the old aqueduct would have gone off in that direction. We have got a footpath that goes down and crosses the River Dolee on a completely separate footbridge, which we're going, going down now. And here is the footbridge. All right, so that's the River Dolee. That there, you can see a bank in there. So when you think of the old aqueduct going over here, you think of a bridge. It was more really of a mud bank with two small culverts that went underneath it. Now, the reason why the old bridge was demolished was purely to ease flooding on the, on the Dolee Valley. So in terms of the old aqueduct, I've never seen a photo of what that used to look like. So if anybody does know of one that exists or anyone's got hold of one, um, drop me a message or get in touch with me on my Facebook page because I'd love to see a photograph of the old aqueduct. So in terms of the new bridge, you've seen the photograph. Um, that's just an artist's impression. That's not the actual viaduct. I understand the viaduct's currently out for tender. So we're looking at a steel a steel structure I understand it's about 37 meters long it's going to be about 10 meters above the river below and then back up the other side where we'll join the towpath and uh, this is where the Staveley puddle bank starts which if you watch my last video you'll know all about that now so yeah so this is the the other side uh, the banking. So it is a big project. The aqueduct alone is a big project. We've got a lot of fundraising to do to meet that 20. For the aqueduct, this section is actually 2025 um, that they're hoping to get it finished by. So not much time, a lot of fundraising, a lot of work to do before then. But that's going to be quite some landmark, isn't it? That's going to be quite some feat of engineering. That's going to be quite special. And I'm really looking forward to seeing how that develops as I am with the, uh, with the rest of the canal. So I'll try and keep you updated for any developments as we'll go along, whether it be Rennyshaw, whether it be Staveley or anywhere else on this issue section, I'll try and keep abreast and I'll try and keep these little mini videos coming. So as always, I hope you've enjoyed this short video. I'll see you again soon on another one, no doubt. So take care. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. And there's the rain again. It is July, I promise. Hello there. Welcome to episode four. It is four, isn't it? It's not five.